Hello and welcome to another episode of How You Can Do It Too. In this episode I'm going to show you how to turn a manual uh, back flush water sediment filter system into an automatic one. Uh, these systems work very well but the only downfall is is you got to come out every you know so often depending on how bad your you know your sediment is you got to come out and turn this little valve let it back flush and then turn it back off and uh, kind of aggravating but uh, with this system it's all automatic. Uh, you can buy automatic ones but they're anywhere from 150 on up. I was able to build this one for less than $70 and it does the same thing. Uh, you can even do it cheaper uh, depending on the type of water timer you get. But um, uh, the only thing I got to do with this one is check the battery every once in a while and uh, like I said it works real good so let me get to showing you how, how I made this. Okay, what I did is I took the manual uh, back flush water sediment filter off, uh, just like you would if you were going to put a brand new filter in it. And um, what I did is I went down to the local uh, hardware store, got a, uh, an elbow, a half inch male, because that's what this thread was. Uh, different units may, you know, have different, but just make sure you got what, you know, thread size you need. But I got a half inch elbow, um, male end to a half inch elbow, uh, female end. Then what I did is I got a coupling, a half inch male coupling to a three quarter inch male coupling. And uh, cause that's your standard size for your, you know, your water timer where you could put your hose on and all that. Then what I did is I went down and picked out a particular timer that I wanted. This one particularly does uh, three settings a day. Uh, you can get them cheaper where they do one setting a day. Uh, this is a battery operated one because uh, that's what you need. And, um, and, and all you do is just this screws into there. This goes like so. Have your settings on. Make sure your valve is on whenever you have this set. And another thing is these come with a, a wire uh, mesh filter in it. I always take those out because I want it free flowing because you have a filter here. You don't want this backing up and then figuring out why it's not flowing just in case any sediment gets down through here. So just take that wire mesh filter out. And you can also put a hose on this end if you would like to direct your water when it uh, kicks on and flows out so it goes where you want to. But uh, that's pretty much it, and uh, I hope this uh, helped you. And uh, by the way, uh, make sure you put Teflon tape around your threads. You don't have to on your water timers because it comes with a with a rubber gasket. But uh, that's pretty much it, and I hope it helps you out. And um, have a good day. Thank you. Bye.